Hey guys, my name is Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So today, the plan is to finish the demolition of the concrete wall and the wooden floor in the back part of this bank barn. So that's what we're trying to do today. We just cleaned up all the boards. I've got the bucket on the tractor now, so I'm gonna to try to get all of this junk and stuff here picked up and hauled off, and then we'll rip out the rest of these blocks back to this post right here and uh, get all the floor out of here and this, the main demolition portion should be done today. That's the plan. All right, I got all the trash picked up that was back here. That was a total of four bucket loads worth of trash. I went ahead, I put the pout forks back on the tractor because now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to tear out the rest of this floor. All right, I've got the floor completely ripped out of here and I've got it hauled off. And I've switched the tractor over to the grapple now. So I did latch in the quick attach on the grapple. I'm not gonna have what happened last time. Um, so in the last video, we did cut the concrete on the front side of the concrete blocks of the saw. Last time we're gonna do the same thing on the inside right here, up and down. And then we'll probably try to at least bust out one row of blocks with a sledgehammer to separate the two sections of wall and then we'll grab that with a grapple and take the rest of it out.
All right. Let me catch my breath, my breath for a second. That'll wear you out. Man, uh, the plan was to actually try to get this all done today. Now, obviously that's not gonna end up happening. The sun's going down. It's darker than what it looks like in the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits tonight. Honestly, I think I'm worn out anyway. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. We'll be right back in the morning and we'll finish getting that little bit of block busted out and we'll get that wall out with the grapple. We'll get it all cleaned up and we will be done with the demo, the demolition of the wall and the floor. Um, didn't quite get it done today, but we'll be back tomorrow. So last night I thought about it a little bit. So my saw doesn't cut, it only cuts like two inches into the block from each side. And there's still four inches of concrete that's still connected that I'm trying to break with that uh, sledgehammer. So basically uh, what I want to try to do today is I'm going to take a hammer drill. I don't want to go rent a jackhammer because I don't want to go drive an hour away, rent a jackhammer and then drive back and then have to take it back later. That's going to be like four hours out of my day to go rent a jackhammer. I mean, that's what happens when you live in the country. You're not close to anything. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a hammer drill. We're going to drill holes through it, through where the saw blade marks are and try to uh, weaken the blocks just a little bit more. And then I'll try it again with the sledgehammer, see if it breaks. Aren't you out of breath yet? No, I'm alright. <laughs> so Rebecca came out and helped me today and she knocked that last block out. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna warm up the tractor and then we're gonna see if we can break this wall out of there. You're trying not to breathe heavy? <laughs> <laughs>
right, we got all the concrete blocks. Um, they're all broken out and gone. We got a pretty good opening here in the back for uh, livestock and tractors to be able to get in and out. We will have to build ourselves up some kind of a gravel ramp here to be able to get in and out smoothly. But now all the floor's gone. It's pretty messy underneath there. There's a lot of, there's a lot of trash, you know, and stuff down here that probably needs to be picked up. But uh, we'll get a magnet out here, look for any nails, and clean this up again later. Um, lots of concrete blocks along this back wall that we should be able to save. But overall, I think we've got a nice area here to be able to shelter livestock in. So it's been below freezing for most of this week. And I, wait, I wanted to wait till the ground was frozen because we rutted it up so bad last time. And that ended up like being worse because now that all the ruts were frozen, it was like they were solid as a rock they weren't moving at all it was like driving over like little miniature boulders or like small rocks i mean because you were just like in and out of ruts going back and forth and uh yeah it was it was terrible i mean there's no give that's like that's like solid as a rock right there and uh, i tried running a bucket over it see if i could knock some of the the high spots down and it wouldn't even touch it it had actually um, the bucket would go into it and it would start to lift the tractor um, and that's how <laughs> that's that's how solid that dirt is right now so yeah waiting for the ground to freeze I should have done that at the beginning after I rutted it up I needed to fix it before it froze and it was a pretty rough ride in here today with the tractor and yesterday so uh, yeah I was really wanting to get this done yesterday because we've got bad weather coming in today. It's already sprinkled a little bit today while we were working on this. We've got like a ice, ice rain mix coming and it should start here anytime soon. So I was wanting to beat the weather. Um, so it's supposed to do that like all night tonight. So it'd be interesting if we lose power or something, you know, uh, out here in the country and with, with uh, if you get a little bit of ice, that's, that's prone to happen. But uh, I think we're prepared for that with the generator and, and we got firewood and all that stuff. So, but uh, trying to beat the weather to get this done so I didn't have to drive in and out of here with the tractor with it covered in ice as well on top of everything else. So glad I got it done and uh, I'm glad I got all the hard stuff done. This was a this this concrete wall about killed me. That thing was a that thing was a chore trying to get that taken out of there. I'm glad that is done. But now that this is all done, I think we've at least we've got a we've got better than what we used to have. I mean, we have some shelter for livestock to get under besides inside the barn. So, they can at least get out of the rain in there. Um, if they lay down in there, these concrete blocks are probably about two and a half feet tall and they could get a little bit of shelter from the wind if they're laying down. Plus, we still got metal on the two ends. So there's a little bit of a windbreak in there, but I think in a pinch, this, will st this is still a better shelter than, than what we had before, which was like nothing. For the, for, um, the steers that we, rained, that we raised this summer, their only shelter was uh, the cedar trees. You know, they just would lay under the cedar trees. So this is gonna be a lot better for our next set of feeder steers when we get those. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I need to go ahead and get this cleaned up and get the tractor back in the barn before everything starts getting covered with ice. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.